right back. We can find Night One. We're going to beat Night One, okay? We are going to do it. It all is what I'm just saying. Because this thing has a fight. Do you see it? Do you see it? Well, we're going to beat this in this episode, so. The only game I'm not playing is the voice one. That's the only one that I'm like super terrified of. Kiddos, why don't you just stand there and read? They're gonna listen to him talk. I hate how you can hear them like, what's it called? Hello? Oh. Hello? Oh, oh. Uh, I wanted to record a message for you. To help oh, you get yeah. settled in on your first night. Um, I actually worked in that office before you. I'm finishing up my last week now, as a matter of fact. So, I know it can be a bit overwhelming. Why did you quit? But I'm going to tell you, there's nothing to worry about. Uh, you'll be fine. So, yeah, let's I just focus on getting you through your see first people play this Okay? Uh, let's see. First, there's an introductory greeting from the company that I'm supposed to read. It's kind of a legal thing, you know. Um, welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, a magical place for kids and grown-ups alike, where fantasy and fun come to life. Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for damage to property or person. Upon discovering that damage or death have occurred, a missing person report will be filed within 90 days or as soon as property and premises have been thoroughly cleaned and bleached and the carpets have been replaced. Blah, blah, blah. Now, that might sound bad, I know, but there's really nothing to worry about. Uh, the animatronic characters here do get a bit quirky at night, but do I blame them? No. If I were forced to sing those same stupid songs for 20 years and I never got a bath, I'd probably be a bit irritable at night, too. So remember, these characters hold a special place in the hearts of children to show them a little Stop. respect. Right? Okay. So just be aware, the characters do tend to wander a bit. Uh, they're left in some okay. kind of free like, roaming mode at night. Uh, something about their servos locking up and being turned off for too long. Uh, they used to be allowed to walk around during the day, too. But then there was the fight of 87. Yeah. The fight of 87. Yeah, it's amazing that the human body can live without the frontal lobe, you know? Uh, now, concerning your safety, the only real risk to you as a night watchman here, if any, is the fact that these characters, uh, if they happen to see you after hours, probably won't recognize you as a person. They'll, they'll most likely see you as a metal endoskeleton without its costume on. Well, now, since that's against the you. rules here at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, they'll probably try to forcefully stuff you inside a Freddy Fazbear suit. Um, now, that wouldn't be so bad if the suits themselves weren't filled with cross beams, wire, and animatronic devices, especially around the facial area. So you can imagine how having your head forced to press inside one of those could cause a bit of discomfort and death. Uh, the only parts of you that would likely see the line of day again would be your eyeballs and teeth pop out the front of the mask here. Yeah, they don't tell you these things when you sign up. But hey, first day should be a breeze. I'll chat with you tomorrow. Uh, check those cameras, and remember to close the doors only if absolutely necessary. Gotta conserve power. Alright, good night. I get to feel absolutely peachy right now. <laughs> Again. Last time you scared me. I said, Bah! Like, I look up to my eyeballs, and then I leave, and then he's a clip, and I leave and Chica's not there, and then she's over here somewhere, and then he's up close, you know, and then she's seeable, you can see her weird faces, and then he's up close, it's gonna happen, and then, come on, see, and then he's, he's, uh, who just stuck their head into the room? Did you want to see that? Yeah. This episode is about to end. This is part one.